wake up. Hi, honey. It's time to wake up. <laughs> we gotta go. No, no, no. A little bit longer. Run that intro again. Welcome everyone to World Class Wednesdays. Today's lesson is the great ones are masters of their work rest cycles. Obviously, this is something I need to work on. Average people refuse to recognize one of the most critical aspects of peak performance cycles. If human beings were robots, performance experts wouldn't need to consult with their clients about their proper use of cycles. But we're not robots. We are primarily emotionally driven creatures whose level of performance is dictated by what we believe and how we feel at any given time. Most amateur performers never push themselves hard enough to ever warn any concern with cycles. But for champions, it can make the difference between winning and losing. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Oh, the great ones know or are trained to know when to exert maximum effort and when to let their mind and body rest. The enemy of all champions is physical and emotional burnout, and they'll go to great lengths in the performance planning process to ensure burnout never occurs more than once. Most world-class coaches will push their performers to the breaking point at least one time to establish how far that individual can be pushed. Every performer has a different tolerance for pain, and when this breaking point is established, a cycle of stress and recovery is implemented. Time off and life balance are key factors in performance cycles, as are massive influxes of effort. The great ones know the magic is in the mix. Author and psychologist James E. Lohr said that recovery is an important word and a vital concept. It means renewal of life and energy. Knowing how and when to recover may prove to be the most important skill in your life. Your world-class resource for this week is his book, Stress for Success. Your action step for today is to give yourself a life balance checkup. Are you investing the necessary time and energy in the important areas of your life? What areas are you overstressing? What areas are you understressing? Think about your current stress and recovery cycles and make any adjustments you think are necessary for peak performance and maximum happiness.